In this video, I'm going to talk about web link sets. Now, what are web link sets within Power Pages? Now, as the name suggests, it's a, a set consisting of web links. Now, web links are basically a hyperlink which points to a page in the internet. Now, that page can be an external page uh, or it can be an internal page. Web link can link to a URL or a web page. Web link sets contains numbers of web links. Web link set is group of links. Uh, now, where this is used is mainly in primary navigation, footer links, header links, uh, left navigation, those sort of things. Now, it allows placements of links, grouping of links, and even ordering of links. So you can order your links, you can group your links, uh, and you can place your links within a specific web link set. Uh, Web link set can create, uh, uh, you can create custom web link set and assign it to header or any other custom uh, web templates within your uh, Power Pages site. So let me jump into the demo. Okay, now where do you find web link sets is uh, in the back end. So I'm in the design studio of Power Pages. Okay, I have a site created for me. Now, if I want to see the navigation part now, so uh, look into this part, my main navigation. So it has home and create school. It has home, it has create school. Now, what if I create a new page? If I create a page called as uh, <coughs> maybe uh, I'll say portfolio. And if I add this page, what watch, watch what happens. So main navigation adds that page over here and it adds into the main navigation as well. So this is the header part of your web page. Now, where do you see this content? Okay. Now, here, if I go into uh, the Power Pages management backend, now how to navigate to the site is just clicking on the Design Studio here and click on Portal Management. Once you're done with that, you will be navigated to this page. Go into Web Link Sets, and here you will find a couple of Web Link Sets. Now, the default one is the default which is being rendered. Now, if I click on Default, I see some information over here, but if I click on links, I will be uh, seeing the uh, the navigation, the home, create school and portfolio. This is what is uh, referenced over here. Let me refresh this page. Okay, so we need to first sync the changes, what we have made. And once we sync that change, those uh, navigational links will be uh, visible in the website so these uh, web links which uh, is created is like we are directly uh, modifying the the web link set default uh, so you can also create your own web link sets okay now if i just refresh this page uh, i should technically see uh, portfolio as well so this is the navigation now at the same time i can uh, put the display order as say maybe portfolio as two okay once i put as two and create school as 11 then portfolio will be displayed first so that's how you order the web link sets now what if you're not happy with this and you want your own set of navigation to be defined okay now there is a way what you can do you can click on web link sets and you can create your own web link so let me name this as say fancy web link set Okay, this is the one I'm creating now. Uh, again, your website is Neon. Your display name is say, Fancy Web. <clears throat> and uh, maybe you can name the navigation the some, some value, okay? Now, I'm not going to do anything on that. I'll just uh, put the web link set language as English and I save this value, okay? Now, uh, if you see here, it says this web link set should be published or it should be in a draft state. So let me put this in a published state. So that means it is visible to be used uh, by the website. Now, once this web link set is created, it will have no links in it. You need to manually add a link. So I'm navigated to the link and as a new web link. Now, let me add that portfolio page, which I have created. Okay, so, so let me call this as say portfolio and publishing state is again published. And the uh, page which I want to show is 
portfolio. Let's see if it finds that. Yes, it finds that. And there any external URL. Okay. Uh, let me save this. Okay. Now, in our web link set, I, I'll just save and close. I have added one web link portfolio. Now, let me add an external link here. Uh, let's call this as a Facebook. Okay, so I'm adding a Facebook link. A publishing state is published. And uh, the page. Now, this is not an internal page. This is an external URL. So let me uh, call the Facebook page over here, facebook.com. Okay, so I have added this Facebook page. Uh, link i will add another link called as google okay in this link and i won't publish that okay uh, so if i call it as google and i let me put this in a draft state and uh, external url is again https google.com let me save this now what i've done essentially is i've created a web link set i have added web links with it out of that three web link, one is internal page, second is an external link, published, third is external link, not published. It's a draft state. Now I uh, close this uh, window basically. Now we need to re replace the default navigation with this web link set. Now, how do we do that? Now, under web templates, now remember this website, this website, this component is basically a header, okay? Now the header as a title logo and in navigation now what sort of navigation it is we know this is a default navigation now if you go to web templates under header and under the in the code you will find one section here okay which i've already commented over here i just it says assign primary nav is web links default okay now this is pointing this is technically pointing to the default uh, navigation okay let me duplicate this and go into the uh, the navigation which we have created web link sets now this is default we have fancy web link set let me copy this text fancy web link set okay now i i will put the web links over here and i will uh, put this web link set okay. now once you have done this change just save this record so i'll just save this record and I'll give a quick uh, sync. Now see what happens over to the navigation over here. Now, if everything works fine, this should display the links from the fancy link website. And the same should be reflected over here. So once we refresh this page, and if the sync has happened in the back end, then it should uh, technically display this link. Now it is telling that it is showing me some error, ADX web link error. Now let's see what the problem is. Yeah, so I think uh, that part was not synced up. So that's why it was giving me that error. But now as you see in the design studio, this is all synced up and it is showing me portfolio, Facebook, Google uh, account, okay? Now let me do one thing, go into the web link set and this is a fancy web link set. Let me first change the text for this, make it proper. And uh, look for a parent web link. Now, for me, the parent web link, uh, I don't want to set as of now. Uh, let me save this, see if this, this, this change is made or not. Yes, it is done. Maybe go to Google and then publish this value. So if it's in the draft state, let me publish this value. Uh, and then I save this, okay? And at the same time, I will go into the default navigation as well and see what's what's happening in the default navigation. So in web link set, if I go to default navigation, under links, you will see, say, the portfolio uh, page which we created. And it is a publishing state. It belongs to a default web link set and uh, it is pointing to one page okay now the same thing i have done over here now, uh, now if i go into the web templates and go into the header and just see the syntax over here it says assign primary nav is web links fancy 
web link set okay and it is properly closed okay now let me give an another sync and if you have made all the changes then the text will be properly uh, displayed in the navigation now we have just made one change uh, the facebook has a big a after fa so i made it small and those changes should be reflected and as you see over here this change has been reflected over here now what if we want to revert back if we want to revert back again go here in this uh, web templates go to the header and once you go into the header again go into this web links and make it default okay so if i make it default then and if you save this and if you give a bit of sync and uh, wait for some some period of time then i think you should be able to see the older navigation restore it might take a while you may have to give a couple of sync for the changes to get reflected and once it is all reflected then uh, you should see the old navigation which had home uh, portfolio and it, it shouldn't have facebook and google link in it and as you see over here this has restored back to the main navigation uh, the default navigation so that's it folks this is all about uh, uh, playing around with the navigation, using your own custom navigation and making use of web link set to create an internal and an external facing URL. Thanks for watching.